And it is unprecedented, Brenda. This is the first time a presidential debate, whether in the primary or general election phase of a race, has been held here in the state of Alabama. It's no exaggeration to say that literally the eyes of the political world are on Tuscaloosa tonight. And leading up to this, I got a chance to sit down with the state GOP chairman, John Wall, to talk about how he was able to bring the debate here to Alabama and moreover what the Republican Party as a whole, hopes to accomplish tonight right here on this campus. Alabama State GOP Chairman John Wall doesn't try to hide his feelings. I'm biased, but I believe Alabama is the greatest state in the country. But having his party bring a presidential debate to this campus was a harder sell, especially after the party moved the third debate to Miami. I was never panicking, um, but I, yeah, you know, it's one of those processes where from the outside, I'm sure it was, you know, there were people who were like, oh, we lost it. Um, but it's, it's a long process. Alabama's presidential primary isn't until March 5th, well past the crucial early primaries, which can often decide a party's nominee. What I love about it is it raises Alabama's profile. And I think we deserve that. You, you know, we've kind of been overlooked for a long time in the political process. So why Alabama and why the University of Alabama campus? I, I think one of the main targets was including young people. You know, I'm the youngest chairman in the country. And so that's something that's very important to me is reaching out to young voters, you know, people who may not normally engage in the political process and, and letting them know that, hey, we want to be here on campus. This is also the first primary on a college campus in this season. It's also the first for next our own News Nation. Wall says expect a different atmosphere from what we've seen so far. You know, there's also a lot of criticism about the moderators for the last debate. Um, we're for Alabama's debate. You know, we're having Megyn Kelly, uh, you know, a conservative, well-known conservative figure. You know, News Nations has, has been a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more moderate in their tone um, as a national broadcaster. So I think we're actually going to see a much more conservative panel. And it's going to be interesting to see if that resonates with people. And we, we pull in some more, uh, more viewers here for Alabama. Perhaps the biggest story is who won't be here. Hello, Alabama, and I'm thrilled to be back former President Donald Trump. National news outlets report that Trump will instead host a fundraising event in Florida. Wall is not surprised. I don't expect him to be on stage um, because these debates have gone well for him not being there. Uh, you know, every time I'm asked after a debate, you know, who won? My first answer is well, Donald Trump. For the candidates who do take the stage, this may be their best chance to try and chip away Republican voters who polls suggest still favor Trump by a wide margin. I asked Wall what he thinks Alabamians are looking for. They want to see a candidate that they believe actually will stand up for those values. You know, there's a, there's a credibility factor in politics where, where people are frustrated with Washington. Um, you know, they, they, they see all these politicians going to D.C. and then not standing for the things they campaigned on. So I think that's the number one thing that I'm going to be looking for on the debate stage. Are the candidates actually going to do what they say they will do? Often in these debates, there is a central theme. That is not the case here. Wall tells me that he believes, however, that the economy and border security are in what his in his mind are the top issues for Republican voters. Are those the ones we're going to hear about tonight? Will there be another moment, a seminal moment, much like the spat that happened between Vivek Ramaswamy and Nikki Haley in the last debate? We'll know soon. This debate begins now in less than an hour. Reporting live from the Tuscaloosa area here on the University of Alabama campus, I'm Stephen Quinn, ABC 3340 News.